Are you on the search for your first pour over brewer or maybe looking to try out something new but just completely overwhelmed by all the options out there? Well, so are we, so we made a list of five of our favorite pour over brewers on the market right now. Hello, my name is Stephen Holm. I'm with Home Grounds. Excited to be back making videos to help you brew better coffee right at home. Today we're talking about pour over brewers. If you're looking for your first one, you open Amazon and you are completely overwhelmed by just a giant list of coffee brewers that appear to do basically the same thing and they kind of more or less do. But each one has features, they all are slightly different and one may cater more so to you than the others. So we're gonna be going through our top five, talking about the pros and cons of each and why you may wanna buy them. All right, so to start off with, we are looking at our top brewer, the Kalita Wave. The Kalita is unique in that it has a flat bottom and three small holes here at the bottom of the brewer. Those holes are gonna make this pour over a little more forgiving than some of the others. You see, there's so many things that go into pour over coffee brewing, like your grind size, your water temperature, how you pour your water, all these little things. And having a brewer like this will make it a little more forgiving. You don't have to have all those things exactly dialed in. The Kalita comes in a few different materials. We have stainless steel, glass, and they also make a ceramic version. And it comes in two different sizes. We have the 155, which is meant for more just one cup at a time, and the 185, which is made to brew two cups at a time. Now one downside about the Kalita is they do have these special filters that you do have to buy specifically for this brewer. They make them in both sizes, but I just buy the larger one. It still fits in the smaller one. It just comes up along the top. So who is the Kalita way for? I would say it's for pretty much anyone. Maybe for someone who wants a really great cup of coffee but is slightly limited with their coffee grinder or their kettle or something like that, but still wants to get a really, really delicious cup of pour over coffee every time. All right, so on to our second favorite brewer, the Hario V60. This is definitely the coffee industry favorite. It comes in a few different materials. We have plastic, they make a glass, stainless steel, and copper one as well, and it also comes in three different sizes. We have the 01, which makes one cup. This is the 02, which makes two cups. And the 03 makes, you guessed it, three cups. Like the Kalita Wave, the V60 also requires special filters, which is a downside, but these are a little bit cheaper than the Kalita's, and they're just a really thin paper that comes in a few different materials. These are the unbleached ones. There's also bleached. You can get some reusable filters. We have a whole video on the different filters that you can use. I'll link that right up here. Now what makes the V60 unique and a popular choice is that because of this giant hole here at the bottom, it is very unforgiving. So if you are someone that just wants to make a pour over coffee, maybe you're limited with some of your gear that you have to brew with, then this may not be the best choice for you. But if you are someone who wants to become a mad coffee brewing scientist and you wanna experiment with all these different variables, then this is a great brewer for you. Next up, we are looking at the Bee House Dripper, which is our highest recommendation if you're just getting into pour over coffee brewing. Maybe you don't have a gooseneck kettle, a fancy scale, a fancy coffee grinder, but you still wanna make a pour over cup of coffee. This is a great option for you. It does only come in ceramic, which if you tend to drop things a lot, maybe not the best one for you. It does come in two sizes though. We have a one cup and a two cup version, and both of those just use standard filters. So unlike the others, you don't have to order them specially online or seek out a specialty coffee shop that has them. These, you can just run down to your grocery store and pick them up, which is really nice. So if you're someone who really wants to get into the details, all the different variables in coffee brewing, this brewer may not be for you, but if you're just getting started out, you don't want to invest a lot of money into all the other gear, but you still want to get into pour over coffee brewing, this is a great choice. Now up next, we have what is by far the most beautiful coffee brewer out there, the Chemex. It is all glass with a nice wooden collar. They look beautiful on a countertop. It comes in three, six, eight, and 10 cup sizes. So if you're looking to make pour over coffee for a crowd or for the whole family, this is probably the only option on this list. All the other ones are usually only one or two 
maybe three cups at a time. Now, obviously the biggest downfall of these is that they're all glass. I've had a few of these break over the years. And another downside is that they require these very special filters and some of the sizes have different ones. So you always need to make sure that you're buying the right filters for your size Chemex. These ones in particular for the three cup here um, apparently require some origami skills in order to use them, but they're very nice filters. They're typically a lot thicker than all the other options. So they're gonna get rid of some more of the oils in the coffee, provide you with a little bit cleaner of a cup. These are gonna be slightly forgiving brewers, maybe a little bit more than a Hario V60, but less so forgiving than say the Kalita Wave, definitely less so than the Bee House. They're a great option if you are looking for something that looks beautiful on your countertop, makes a great cup of coffee, and allows you to make many cups at a time. Now last up, we have the Clever Dripper, which is definitely the most versatile brewer in this list. It's gonna be a little bit different because it has a stopping mechanism at the bottom. So it will not draw down any of your coffee in here until you set it on a mug or a pitcher, which means that you throw in your filter, coffee grounds, all your hot water, and you can just let it sit until you wanna start the drawdown process. So this brewer is really nice if you don't have a special gooseneck kettle, you just need to dump all your hot water in at once. Or if you wanna experiment with just changing one variable at a time, so you can just add 30 seconds to each different brew, you can just change your grind setting and see how those affect the taste of your coffee. Now the brewer only comes in one size and one material, plastic. It's really nice that it uses these standard number four filters. Once again, you can just buy them at any grocery store. So this is a really great brewer if you're just starting out. They're fairly forgiving, but you can also use it to experiment with all these different variables and how they affect your cup of coffee. All right, so those are our top five favorite pour over coffee brewers. There are more brewers coming out all the time. So if there are some that you'd recommend or you want us to check out, let us know in the comments down below. If you wanna read more about each brewer, or maybe see some more of our recommendations, there's plenty of that on our website. I will link to that specific article down below as well. And that is all for today. So until next time, happy brewing.